What's going on everybody? I just got home from cleaning out my grandmother's apartment and this is what was waiting for me. By the way, it's Saturday, May 16th. Happy Lag Wagon Day. At least on the day of the filming. I might post this tomorrow or Monday. Anyway, it's Lag Wagon Day, so enjoy some Lag Wagon. Anyway, it's a new guitar and it's time for some unboxing. My name is Jack and as you may know, I have a serious case of gas. As some of you may know, uh, I don't live that far away from where Toman is situated and um, that obviously does not help with um, having gear acquisition syndrome. But I've um, discovered more, ooh, loud, more and more Harley Benton guitars, and they've got a new line, a new model, and I had to check it out. So this is the ST622, uh, sorry, ST62CC. It's on the side here. Anyway, as you can see. Harley Benton guitar, and uh, need some scissors. A new guitar day is always something special, especially when it's May 16th, and a Saturday where it's specifically Lag Wagon Day. It's like a, a special bonus. Ooh. Speaking of special bonuses, this is a beaut. This, wow, what's, what's, what's with the headstock? That's a very cool color. Okay, this is looking pretty. Ooh, wow. Oh, <laughs> that is, okay. This looks a hell of a lot better in real life than it does in the pictures. And that is, okay. So, um, I hope this comes across well in the video but uh boy just look at that finish I've, i i don't have like this kind of a blue guitar and it's very sort of a i don't know i always think of it sort of like a so at this point my microphone died on me and i didn't realize that until i was finished filming lesson one for all guitarists check your signal chain but this gave me the opportunity to freshen up change clothes because i noticed that i had a fender t-shirt on i thought that might be almost like trolling while reviewing a different guitar. And it gave me time to have a look at the guitar in more details and actually check up on the specs of it. So this is a brand new series from Harley Benton. It's the ST62CC. ST, obviously because it's a Strat style guitar. 62 because it's based on a 60s model. If it's 60, 62, they call it the 62, so. And the CC, I'm not too sure what that means. Maybe because it's got a C-shaped neck, and also because it's got chrome hardware. I have no idea. It has a basswood body, a maple neck. Now this, as you saw in the unboxing, is absolutely beautiful. It's a satin finish, just really nice feeling, really nice looking. A Pau Fierro, I hope I pronounced that correctly, I should know this by now. Fingerboard, and um, obviously because of protected woods. 22 frets, your standard, 25 and a half inch scale length. Uh, these are like Klusen style tuners, sort of also very 60s, but uh, well, you know me, I might end up switching these out. Maybe go for some Gotos. Um, if you haven't seen it, there's actually some Goto tuners that would fit this perfectly. I did a, a had a look at them in one of my videos if you're interested. Um, standard bolt-on neck. Um, Synchronized tremolo, five-way switch, knobs, pots, all feel very nice. Your standard Roswell Alnico single coil pickups, and this beautiful looking three-ply mint green pickguard. And it just goes perfectly with this finish. Now the actual finish in this case is the Lake Placid Blue. It was really, really difficult picking out a finish for this guitar series because 
They all look amazing. They have also different pickup configurations. I'll show them here in the images. And they are, it was really difficult picking out which one I should go for. I even asked some friends and, and uh, family, who, which one do you think I should go for? Because they all look amazing. And uh, I almost even went for the pink one because I would have put a Hello Kitty sticker on it. And uh, why not? It's 2020 and apparently everything is allowed. So finally, 22 frets, dot inlays, chrome hardware. It looks like, like you'd expect. So let's go into more details, i.e. let's get to some tones. And I'll also do a full sort of like set up look. So the way the frets are, the way the intonation is, the string height, the pickups, just to give it a once over to see how you would receive this out of the box. And if you would actually have to do a setup or send it to Luthier, you know how it is. Anyway, let's get to it. So we're at my guitar workbench where I like to work on my guitars, changing pickups, changing tuners. And uh, I like to give new guitars a once over, especially when it comes to these kind of budget kind of guitars. Although Gibson, eh, sometimes they need a once over. And uh, using these different tools, so this is for checking the bow of the neck, seeing uh, if there's an up bow, up bow, round bow, down bow bow tie, you know. Uh, your Stumac fret rocker, this is obviously fantastic for rocking some frets. Not just rocking the guitar, but rocking the frets. Uh, string action gauge, checking the height of the strings, and just your TC electronic clip-on tuner, checking intonation. So, um, last time I did this, somebody wanted me to not fast forward through the fret rocking, so you could hear each individual fret to see if it was high or not. Now, I don't know if that's absolutely necessary, but you know, I'll do it because somebody requested it. Anyway, strap on, strap in, strap on. Okay, I don't know if you can hear this. It's a little bit of a rocking there. Tiny bit there. That's fine. All good. I'm just not. That's fine. Actually, I'm just holding holding it incorrectly. That feels good. All fine. All good. All good. Uh, tiny bit, barely even noticeable though. Around the, I guess it would be the eleventh fret. Yeah, a tiny bit on the 11th fret. That's nothing, nothing severe though. Can I get this one more? All good. All good. All good. 
fine. No, that's actually fine. I'm just... Yeah, no, it's straight. <laughs> that's fine. All good. Put it actually on the fret would help. And finally... Tiny bit on the second fret. Okay, so... Three frets would maybe have to be uh, looked at. The second fret, I think it was the 11th, and at the very top here. You can actually even see it, that that looks a little bit high. A tiny bit, it's very minimal, but that's something you could maybe just, you know, straighten down. Anyway, hope that was satisfactory. Um, it's a great game, by the way, that I'm playing. Anyway, let's have a look at the actual neck bow. Hold it like you would play it. And let's, let's see if we can line this up correctly. And uh, make sure you choose the right side of it. Which again is not this one. There we go. Okay, so there's a slight concave bow, which is expected. That's fine. I'll just go further down. Yeah, around the 12th fret there's a bit of a concave bow. So right around here, it's slight concave, but that's, uh, you, you want that, that's good. I, you know, a straight neck is obviously ideal, but you need a little bit of a, a bit of relief into it. So you can't really see it even. You wouldn't, I, I've been playing it and you don't really feel it even. Anyway, let's uh, just do a quick string height measurement, just the way it is. 12th fret, it's around two millimeters. And high E string, 1.5. So just under two millimeters and 1.5 millimeters here on the high E string. Sounds good, sounds good, feels good, looks good, plays good. Finally, intonation, always an important thing. This is something that you can Rectify yourself quite easily though. Let me hold it like this actually. You probably can't actually see the tuner So I don't know if that really makes a difference uh, Let me I was playing in D to drop D by the way this comes stock with the Dario strings 9 to 42 In case anybody's interested E's fine A is a little, well, maybe I'm just putting too much pressure. No, A is fine. D is fine. There you can actually hear a little bit of that fret buzz. You can hear it right on the, the highest fret there. That's the high one. Uh, G is otherwise fine, as far as intonation is concerned. B is maybe a little bit flat. Again, you can hear a bit of that fret buzz. And high E is fine. So, um... Two strings that might need to be pushed that way, so slight intonation, but like I said, that's something you can, I could do it in, in five seconds now, but I'm not going to because I'm tired. And uh, like I said, you could hear a little bit of that fret buzz, so maybe you can, I don't know, sanding down is not the right word, but you can maybe polish it with some uh, sandpaper, I don't have that tool here right now, it's somewhere, but you can use it to sort of like polish frets, maybe put a little bit of sandpaper on it. That sometimes helps, but then, you know, properly you'd have to really level the frets and then crown them again. I'm guessing new people will not know how to do that, or at least uh, beginners to guitar. I certainly didn't, uh, it's something I had to learn. Check out Stu Max's YouTube channel, by the way, that's a great, great lesson for guitar maintenance. And otherwise, 
the high fret you don't really notice while playing. If those are the only faults that it has, that the intonation is out on two strings and it's got one or two maybe high frets, like I said, you don't really notice them while playing. Good job. Nice setup. Pretty good for out of, straight out of the box for 139 euros, so well done. This is another thing that I'm always very focused on, especially when it comes to tuning stability, is also the nut itself and the tuners. Now, the tuners feel really good. They feel very stable. They feel like they could be Fender tuners. They're, like I said, these Clusen style tuners. And, um, you know, they top loaded, so you put the string on the top, wind it around. I like these kind of tuners. And I find that the nut can actually cause more disarray with tuning stability than tuners can. And I've, I've noticed that because I've, with one guitar, I switched out the tuners. The tuning was still terrible. And then when I finally switched out the nut, then it was spot on. So keep that in mind. I said that this is a plastic nut. Uh, I've had a closer look at it. I'm still under the opinion that it is a plastic nut. Like I said, it was not advertised having a graph tech nut. So that's, you know, obviously one place where they are able to, to lower costs of manufacturing with the type of tuners, although they're fine, but plastic nut, that can always, you know, cut costs a little bit. One other thing that I've noticed is the synchronized tremolo here, and it has six screws in it. So you can see the six screws on there. You might have seen in newer fenders that it's got a, a two-point tremolo system, but the six screws is actually very loyal to the design that tremolos had in the 60s from Fender. So that's actually a nice dedication to that style. So here are a couple of more tonal examples for you. So just the guitar, no bass, no drums, no mix. So you get a better feeling of what the guitar sounds like. Signal chain, very simple, guitar into Kemper, and I'll be showing the individual profiles at the bottom.
So at the time of filming, this retails at 139 euros, which is almost the same in US dollars with the current exchange rate. And for 139 euros, again, you get a, a lot of guitar for you know anybody who's on a budget or just starting out on guitar, or just somebody who has Les Pauls and maybe wants to try out a Strat style guitar and you don't want to have to invest a huge amount of money at the very beginning, try this one out. I hope you could hear from the tonal examples what it sounds like on clean and dirty and fuzzalicious. Fuzz and um, as I said, the, the setup is, it's great. You don't need to do anything about this. Like I said, I'm always a stickler for locking tuners, but that's me, I don't know why. <sighs> Maybe I'll change someday. Anyway, um, great guitar. Another, another to add to the arsenal. And um, Harley Benton, you've knocked it out of the park again. And uh, they seem to be really showing a lot of uh, competitiveness in the budget guitar market. So keep an eye out. Anyway, my name's Jack and um, I have a serious case of blue by the lake placid gas. <sighs> Freshness. Anyway. Have a nice day, take care, and I'll see you all soon.